So I woke up to a chargeback from a customer and we resent the order. We had a whole email exchange and she knows that I am resending her order. She contacts me on a Sunday evening to let me know her package didn't arrive. I respond, hey, they're telling us that it was delivered to the lobby. Please check in the lobby. She emails me back and says, my package is still missing. And so this is a Sunday evening. So I said, okay, that's fine. I will um, handle it tomorrow, which is Monday, so I can contact the post office. So I contact the post office, wait for them to respond. But before the, co the post office responds to me so that I can respond to her back, she sends me a mess and listen these messages are coming back to back to back so it's not like when she says it's been over 24 hours it hadn't been over 24 hours because i responded to her immediately to let her know hey you know we it, it's showing delivered on our end she goes this is unprofessional my order was expensive do something asap asap makes me move slower especially um the tone of the email. She then responds that she's gonna take this all to social media to see how her following, and I don't even know who this lady is. I don't know anything about her following. And quite frankly, I don't care. I don't care because at Southern Elegance, we have a standing policy. If the order is under $40, we'll ask if you want a refund or you want us to reship it. If it's over $40, we just resend the order because it cuts down on fraud. So I tell her, we're gonna resend the package we were waiting to hear back from the post office, but I've made a decision that you can no longer order from us. So I guess that pissed her off and she filed the chargeback. Now I've gotten really good at winning chargebacks because during COVID there was a lot of fraud. Oh, and let me say this while I'm thinking about it. We're having a 30% off sale on everything except for the bundle and the sale items. So you can't use the sale on the bundles because they're already discounted. And you can't use the sale on um, sale items because we run a monthly special. But we're running a 30% off sale on everything on the website. So now is a great time. There's no coupon needed. So I've gotten really good at winning chargebacks because of, of COVID. My point to this is running a small business is incredibly difficult. We are the photographer, we're the social media expert, we're the marketing person, the sales department, we're HR, we are doing all the things. And when customers come in, like we are bending over backwards to make sure, listen, and I already know not all businesses do this, so don't come in with the, not all businesses, but most of us are doing the best we can. And the way the economy is right now, like it is incredibly difficult. I can withstand a $100 hit. I don't like it, but I can stand it. There are a lot of small businesses. When you do these chargebacks, like it really, really hurts their businesses. It really hurts their bottom line. Because in, in addition to the chargeback, you get hit with a $15 fee. So before y'all do these chargebacks with these companies, please, please, please think long and hard about it.